Okay, this gives us more heavy oil. So, we could probably use that in future if we need, like, more fuel. Then insulated cable. Combine wires with rubber. You know, this could be useful. And then rubber, rubber concrete. Yeah, I'm getting these insulated cables. That give us more options when it comes to rubber. We're gonna need a lot of cables anyway, so that's convenient. And that's all of our hard drives. Okay. So, two good recipes. I like that. Steel coated plates. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. I want the plastic in our inventory just in case. I don't know why just in case, but just in case, we'll have them here. All right, so just configure these for inputs. So I haven't really decided which would go where just yet. But I'll configure this. Because it still needs... This is going to be like this no matter how I configure it. So I might as well just get this done. And then we'll put a splitter. Right here. Now, if I remember correctly, it's 45 iron plates per minute, so that's 135. 135 per minute, getting fed into our reinforced iron plates. And we'll just connect it like that. Alright. This is not connected. Now we just need the steel ingots from over there. We'll bring the excess. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade all of these to MK5s while I'm there, so... Uh, let's start... Just do this. What the hell? Weird. Okay, there we go. I'll just do it like that. And we just need to connect the plastic over here. There's the chainsaw. Okay, let's start connecting this over here. Will this even reach? No, it's not. All right. I'm gonna just do this. Yeah, there we go. That is looking nice. So we got the plastic going into our assemblers here. At this point, 
Let's try to clear this out. Except we can't. We have a full inventory. Oh, I'll just put a storage here. Just so we don't have to walk back. I put all this biomass. Maybe a few of these encased industrial beams. We don't really need them. Like, at all. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is start upgrading these to MK5s. Let's do this. Now, how level is this? Okay, this is level. And then we'll put the lift about right here. And that will work. It's time to start upgrading all of these things. With this, I can actually build backwards. I think these are still MK3s. Maybe. I should probably check. Yeah, MK3s. And then we're just going to put steel ingots into this line right here. Already down to 600. So I'm gonna have to get more of these once we get over there. Probably gonna need to build another production area because it's so compact here that I just can't extract any steel ingots from our production line. And we are out of aluminum sheets. Yeah, that's, this is how compact it is, like, probably shouldn't try to extract these ingots here. Instead, I should probably try to build, maybe like, I guess, we can use this space over here. Or at least try to, we can't cut these things down. Problem is, there's some trees here that we cannot remove, which is annoying. Very, very annoying.
Wait, what is this? Oh, that's iron. Okay, I think we have a nice foundation here we can use to build. So I'm going to put three foundries here. And we can just use the outputs here. Or, you know what, maybe we should just, uh... Uh, how are we gonna do this? Hang on. Okay, so we need to, like, combine this. Do two, three mergers. Oh, that's not going to work. Hmm. Probably built it too close. Alright, so let's reposition this. Put this... Oh, come on. Too steep? Really? What about you? Can I do this? At least? Oh, come on. Okay, so let's move this back. I'm trying to be as space efficient as possible. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, we'll do this. No, I do need to double check both coal lines on three and four. Yes, it is. So, connect this like so. And then we'll connect iron lines. Okay, you know what? Let's just go back. Gonna have to resupply. Okay, so we're just gonna have a tiny area over there where we're gonna put our foundries. We're gonna put three foundries and that will just be used exclusively for this steel ingot line. Probably should check other research as well. Like... There is geothermal power in this game. I forget if it's a milestone or if we have to research it. Probably should double check though. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was under Caterium. Yeah, it's probably under here. We probably should research this. Now, supercomputers... Like, we need high-speed connectors before we can actually obtain them. So, never mind. Anyway... Uh, let's go... Get... Where am I going again? Oh, fourth floor. That's where I kept the sheets. So I do need to clear this out. Get rid of all of our steel beams here. I'll keep two stacks just in case. And then I'll load up on some 
aluminum sheets here. Now again, I do need to increase the production of the heavy modular frames because we don't really have that much. I'll leave two stacks empty, or two slots empty. And then, yeah, like, this is extremely slow. We are bottlenecked by modular frames. And then after that, we still need to get, like, additional production going. Now, can we make the forges or the foundries? Yeah, we have enough. <coughs> Excuse me. So we do have everything we need. And this line is built, ready to go. Just need to get the steel ingots on this line. Now I do have to check how many we can actually make. Check it out over here. So it's 45 per minute. So it's 135 steel ingots per minute. So this can go here. Now we just need this split. This into here and this into here. And then we'll put our... Where are you? Foundries. Now this is going to be a bit tricky because we don't have that much space in this direction. In fact, we have almost none. Unless we build it like this. They don't have to do. Oh, this is so ugly. This is so damn ugly. Gonna have to make do with it, I guess. Yo, wait, get out of the way, dude. So not cool. Get out of my way. You're building. I'm building here. You know what? I'm gonna just blow you up. Boom. Wow, that works really well. <laughs> I should do that more often. All right, so we are going to build power poles over here. So we can get rid of that power pole over there. Because you are in the way. And everything is still powered up there. So there's two and there's three. This works. Then we have steel ingots over here. Now we just need to bring all of our stuff here.
Actually, we'll do it like this. And then this, we'd actually output it like... We don't know... Wait, what was the point of this again? Yeah, this thing right here is pointless now. So, let's get rid of that. And then we'll have... Splitter over here. Clipping this a little bit, whatever. All right, now we just need to connect this over here. All right, we are making steel ingots. Let's get rid of this stuff. And why are you not getting that much coal. Oh, right, right. I need the splitter. Need you like right over here. All right, there we go. Now you're getting coal. All that's left is to bring all of this steel over here. Where do we plug it in? We need to get it over there. So I'm thinking... Do this. Okay, we need to climb up here. And... Need to somehow... Get this over here. Or wait, I can do this. And then we can use... Well, I'm not gonna put it up there, but I am going to put it... Like, maybe up here? Wait, so one, two... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then connect this over here. gonna have it merged over here or maybe merge over here now let's hope this tree doesn't get into the way and it looks like it's not this tree is kind of in the way This is weird. Uh, okay. Case three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that should be flat. Except it doesn't reach. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this will go here, and there we go. We have steel ingots going all the way back to our base. 
Double check it's on the line. Yes, it is. All right, let's head back. Wait, double check. Like, how many resources are actually going in here? 45, 90, 135. Probably need to upgrade these. Yeah, let's upgrade these while we're here. Just so we're not bottlenecked by the conveyors. We don't need to do anything with the sulfur, but we do need to upgrade these coal lines. In fact, we have two coal lines here. Oh, one of them is going into the coal power area. You just need to make sure this is upgraded and then from there we're good all of these like we just need to upgrade this line over here don't necessarily need to upgrade the ones going into the foundries since that gets split off anyway but I may accidentally upgrade them here and there but that's fine have plenty of these aluminum sheets okay so I think we're done here I think I think I think I think yeah it looks like everything is solid but I probably should upgrade these iron lines here It's actually three iron lines going into two. Or, you know what? It's probably fine. Probably. So, let's skip that. This should be heavily saturated now. And there we go. There's our line for steel ingots. And it's already getting backed up because we're not really using that much anymore. The production over there is blocked now. There we go. Or maybe still producing, I don't know. We'll have to check this out. 